Hi. So today I'm just going to talk about one of the things I like most of I, about 5-1 Talk. Um, I believe I've shared that in my previous video. It's actually AC or Air Class, which is like a virtual classroom. Um, the teachers just have to log in and enter the classroom for them to conduct the lessons. So it's really great to have Air Class because you don't have to prepare anything. All the lesson materials, the books, um, for your students are provided in the classroom. So yeah, before I open uh, the air class, I usually launch uh, Manicam first. So this is how it looks like. So that's, there's my face right there. And there are different effects that you can use for this. Um, if you want to give your students some smooches or if you just want to say hello, and bye bye. So everything is there. And then we also have uh, face accessories like tears. <laughs> My sons love that. Uh, I also use this one a lot rain clouds and flying stars. Anyhow, uh, going back to AC or air class, let me try to launch it. Sometimes I believe there's a security issue and it won't like allow me to record while it's on, but right now it's doing it so perfect. So once it's there, um, you can actually see the classes that I have. Uh, for example, Jason. Um, if I enter the classroom, so this is what it actually looks like. Well, there are also built-in um, accessories or effects in Air Class. So you can see it here. Uh, they also have their own borders. And you can clear that out by clicking on this icon right here. Looks like a brush. And then you also have they also have this one. Um, instead of just clicking on it, you have to drag it to your video there and then if you want to delete that just click on that icon right there and this one's my favorite I actually like that so aside from the effects you can also give your students emojis like this one hi tan or maybe yeah if you want to tell them i love you or just yay for doing a great job so this is like the lesson material that i was telling about i was talking about so it's already there um this is from a regular student as you can see i have a total of 411 classes with him um oh. He will be surprised when he sees this because how come I logged into the classroom? But anyhow, I'll just explain it to him. Because uh, there's like a footprint every time you log in uh, to the classroom, they would actually know that you were in there. Because it will show you here. Me charm entered at this timestamp. I left at that timestamp and I entered again. So this is like the lesson material the woman in the moon and it's like a it's like a virtual board as well so you can write on it you can draw you can say good so it's really like a classroom and if you want to delete that you have this eraser right here or you can just click on this trash can icon to clear everything yeah there you go so there are different um sections of the lesson but maybe i can talk about that some other time this is just how i mean this video is just is, is all about ac so going back to its uses um here there are one two three four five six seven icons um down below so if you want to like type a text so you just have to click on that one and say hi and this one's for the pen, so you can draw. And then this one's like a highlighter. And then this is the eraser. And this is for 
like a back button. Go back. And the last one, the trash can icon is for you to clear everything. And then here you have arrows, um, arrows going to the right or pointing to the right for you to go to the next page and then you can go back. And then this is for a regular one-on-one -on -one class, by the way. And then here on the rightmost side, you will see the student profile, um, a regular student. You will also see whether the student has previewed the lesson, if they have prepared for the lesson before before your class and then you will see the latest uh, lesson you've had with a student and the total number of lessons you've conducted. Um, it will also show you like what the student like about the class. Like uh, for him, he likes appropriate illustration. Uh, he likes the fact that I am patient, caring, understanding to, uh, to him and appropriate expansion. Sometimes uh, for other students, if they don't like um, something about you, it would also show here. So here you have the likes and the dislikes just right down below. So this is like the chat area. Um, there are actually two fields where you can type in the text. So for example, here, if I'm just going to say, good morning, So if I want to translate that before I send it, oh, that's, there you go. If I want to send that over to him or to the student, I just have to click on translate. And then just click on send, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, delete that. So here, uh, this letter A icon, if you click on that, it will actually show you the translate option. And you can just remove that there. As for this icon, it's for you to do a screenshot like that. Look at my face. <laughs> so I'm going to cancel that. So you can make a screenshot. And then you have this option here, like a check, a green check mark. If I click on that, it's going to show up here in the chat area. And if I want to send that screenshot to the student, then I'm just going to click on that arrow, that arrow right there. So let me delete that. And then aside from that, you can simply uh, chat here. If you don't really need any, any translation, so you can just chat there right away and click on send, like a normal chat box. Sometimes uh, when the translation is down, what I usually do is, or use, is Google Translate. So this one, translate.google.com. I would say, good morning. How are you? And I've already selected uh, the language Chinese Simplified. So once it's there, then you can just copy it. Copy translation. And you go back to the AC and you paste it there. And then you click on send. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, those are the basic, um, basic usage of AC. And oh, I forgot to mention here is like the star meter. And you can give your students five stars. But if they're actually using the latest version of the application on their end, you can actually give them like unlimited stars if I'm not mistaken. So this is for the emojis and for the stickers. I'm going to give them like, oh, I'm going to give you an apple. Yeah. So you can also put that or drag that to your students um, window if they're using a computer. Uh, however, this does not work if the student is only using a cell phone or an iPad. They have or they need to be using a computer, a laptop, or a desktop computer for the stickers to actually work on their end. Because sometimes, um, sometimes I would, I would, I would choose like a specific effect like this one, and then I say, "What's a teacher? I want flowers too." And then if I would drag it over to them, um, 
it won't work and that's because they're not using a computer so you have to like tell them oh, i'm sorry that is not an option because you're using this and that so I, if i want to remove that just click on that icon there uh also you can actually drag your video anywhere on the screen which is great <laughs> if you want to get your students attention or something so you can actually put yourself there sometimes i also drag my students uh video over especially for doing like um uh dialogue so we can we can have both of our videos there in the middle as if we are the ones uh talking so yeah and then you just have to drag it back and did i miss anything um pdf material mm. it says it cannot be switched but i don't really use that and then this one it will actually tell you like um your memory usage your cpu usage if there's a delay um with your internet connection it's going to show right there the packets of data loss and then this one is for the volume obviously and this is for your signal and then our normal icons uh, minima minimize and then restore and if you want to x out of it so i think that's pretty much it um i hope i did not miss out on anything but if you have any questions um suggestions or anything feel free to leave your comments down below and uh i'll try to see i'll try to get back to you as for now if you like this video if you find this helpful then please don't forget to give me a like and do subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this um thank you for watching and happy teaching bye till next time